Hello guys and welcome to another episode of our little hungry campaign here in MNT 2.0, a mod for EU4. So uh, this is not the starting or the date that we ended the previous episode in and there's a very good reason for that. Well, it's a, well, it's a good reason, but it's a stupid reason. Uh, the reason is that my recording software messed something up and for some reason my audio didn't record or any sound at all really. So that sucks. Uh, however, the video is there, so I went ahead and threw together a, like a tiny little, um, you know, highlight reel, if you want, of uh, some of the most important events um, that happened during the episode that was lost. I was recording for like, um, I don't know, one and a half hour or something like that. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll just play the thing now and then I'll try to remember <laughs> what is going to pop up on the screen and I'll talk a bit about it. So here we go. Okay, so um, there you go, that's what happened. Um, so basically we waged a bunch of wars, we finished off, uh, you know, Kosovo, uh, Venice had this province, we took that, we finished off Seta, we had a grand glorious invasion of Austria, which was pretty easy. Um, they, they decided to raid my country a bit though, which was annoying, but... Uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, my plan, it might have been a bit confusing to see in the little edit I made, but um, my plan to make an Austrian vassal failed completely because the vassal I wanted to make is Tyrol. However, when I uh, annexed this province and then released the nation of Tyrol, an event popped up that just made Tyrol a part of Austria again because fuck everything, right? So my plan to make a vassal Tyrol failed. So now I'm just sitting here with a couple of provinces that I don't want and borders that are absolutely hideous. However, um, my plan B is to get Salzburg as a vassal. He is a theocracy, which is... Um, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it's a thing. So, uh, I mean, I imagine maybe trying to make him Protestant will be annoying. Yeah, the fact that I'm making a lot of vassals here before the Reformation hits might not be the brightest idea, but uh, what are you going to do? Hopefully some of them convert on their own, I don't know. Regardless though, uh, yeah, I'm going to be conquering him, or I guess just uh, force vassalizing him at some point. I got busted trying to build a spy network though, so I can't really do that anymore, but oh well. What else happened? Uh, I don't know, I, I've been doing a lot of development. Uh, I've been revoking a privilege, among other things. I've been building a bunch of buildings, although that would have been off screen anyways. Building a commune hall here, another one there. Yeah, a bunch of commune halls. I'm trying to build up, uh, you know, level... T well, I guess it's... They're technically called level 1 commune hall, but uh, they are the second tier of commune hall. I don't know why rank 0 commune hall is a thing. Maybe there's a modding reason for it, but really should be rank 1, 2, 3, etc. I don't know why it's 0. That's dumb. Regardless, of course, we need rank 1s uh, in order to get universities. However, uh, fuck, was it? Did I talk about my development in the previous episode? I don't know. We'll, we'll talk a bit about it in this episode anyways, just because 
why not? So my development has been improving quite steadily. I mean, the actual development in the provinces is still, you know, questionable at best, but our capital here is now has 80,000 people, which is pretty tits. I mean, that's, uh, that's now, yeah, Pest is now a bigger city than uh, Naples is. And we are slowly, slowly, but surely catching up to, um, to uh, Milan, which is one of the bigger cities. I mean, obviously Venice still stands strong. I did attempt to burn Venice to the ground in the, uh, the episode that never will be uploaded because of the audio issues. But I failed because of the Venetian Navy. And my allies in uh, Florence weren't really... Well, they weren't strong enough to defeat the Venetian Navy. So sadly, we had to abandon the siege. Well, not really abandon the siege, just... Uh, abol or just peace out, basically. Um, because the problem is that even if it doesn't look like it, even if it doesn't look like it, Venice is still technically an island in this mod. You can see that um, where is this? Where is the thing you can actually see this? I don't know. Where, wherever you see straits, which I have entirely forgotten where it is. Well, point is there are straits between you know Venice and the surrounding provinces. So if a navy is placed right here, you can't walk between them. So that's something I learned. Well, I guess I, I already knew it, but I just sort of, for some ungodly reason, thought that the, uh, the Venetian Navy was nowhere to be seen. Speaking of Venice, though, I, I want to point out like how much money I'm making from Venice. Oh, it's not that much anymore? Oh, well, it was more before, but still, it was 0.50 <laughs> from just looting the or just uh, privateering. It's pretty good. I can, I just, oh man, I can just imagine how much money you can get from um, privateering. Um, if I had a bigger navy, but obviously my navy is tiny. I'm not really sure why it's so small. Uh, I guess it's just my coastline isn't very big. Uh, it might be because um, I haven't made uh, Dalmatia a state yet. I decided to go with Serbia instead. Uh, because I wanted Serbian as an accepted culture, which I also did in the little edit. I think I showed that. So, but yeah, uh, I should rehash some of the development things. We have... Um, Let's see. Um, where is it? Decentralizing... What? Okay, I don't know what that's all about. But uh, we, have edu we have Education 5 now, which is pretty good. We now have, like, you know, actual positive education. So we're now getting some nice discounts to technology and ideas. And, of course, institution spread. We're still not really anywhere close to embracing the first institution, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, and we also have uh, a, uh, well, a court. our court is just what it always was. It hasn't changed much. But we have, sorry, where is it? There it is. Average development. Not sure if I showed that in the previous episode, but it's a thing now. And that means that we no longer suffer the negatives from having shit development. So we're catching up to you, Ottomans. Not really. They're still ahead of us. They they are just awesome for some reason. I don't know. Have they embraced uh, banking yet? Uh, where do I even go to see that? Is, is there is there a, is there a thing? I actually don't know. Then maybe hover over here. Ottoman banking presence. It doesn't say whether or not they have embraced it or not, so I guess we can just, we will just never know whether or not the Ottomans have embraced banking. Last time I checked they had not done it though, but they, uh, they I would assume that they would be doing that soon. Maybe I can figure out some play. Oh, here, here, here it says, has embraced legalism, yeah, so they, they've not embraced banking yet. Uh, I guess that's one of the disadvantages of a huge nation, because you need like 10% rights for, of your nation to have embraced it, so... I guess that's why. But yeah. Uh, we are just... Yeah. Well, we have one problem. Well, no, two provinces now, actually, with the institution. So that's nice. Of course, these are non-state provinces. And, well, banking is slowly spreading to these other provinces. I mean, you would think that it would spread a bit faster now that it's within our country. But I guess not. Uh, oh, it's gone to Istria as well. Nice. How close are we, actually, to banking? We are... what? Zero out of 66 provinces. Okay. Oh yeah, wrong, wrong thing. 
Zero point four. Okay, yeah. So it's it's about okay. So population is the deciding factor here, not actual, um, not actual. Um, I guess re you know area of spread. Uh, and these provinces, there, there's no one in these. Like I don't know. They just never recovered. I uh, I mean I guess I would want to build some buildings, especially in Dubrovnik, but. Since it's not a state yet, I'm not going to be bothering to invest too much in it. But yeah, building up some coastal areas here. Well, actually, is Dubrovnik... In, no, Dubrovnik is in the um, the Balkan node, or whatever it's called. Lower Danube node. So, yeah, building up Dubrovnik would be good, but it's not really extremely high on my priorities list. Our power in uh, the Lower Danube is totally fine, so... Well, you would almost think that it would be a bit bigger. Although, I guess the, yeah, the Ottomans are gobbling up a lot of it. I mean, although if we could expel the Ottomans from the Balkans, then that would do the trick, but doing that is uh, <laughs> not really something that's going to be happening soon. Simony, uh, that thing, formal complaints. Let's get some stability. So yeah, what are we doing now? Well, that's a good question. I need to figure that out myself. Yeah, I think... Oh yeah, the Polish were doing something. I don't know, I didn't pay attention. Uh, hey, I guess my vassal, or vassals, I should say, went and helped. So now I have some more favors. I should actually spend some of these. Yeah, I have a fuck ton of those. Let's, uh, let's get, yeah, let's get trust 200. They, they love me now. Good. Poland loves me. So hopefully they will stick with me. Even as border tensions increase. Spiritual relations as well. We want to make sure the Polish are totally with us, so that whenever a war upon the... Um... Oh, <laughs> I actually got loot! Ah, oh, man. I still can't... I I guess it was this guy. This 1,000 dude here went went and looted a bunch of shit. Cool. But yeah, no, um... Moldavia is still just crappy. I don't know why. He's, he has no army for some reason. He seems to be raising some forces, though, whenever he uh, goes to war, but that's really it. So I don't really know what's up with that. Also, can I fabricate on the Romans? Because I want to burn Constantinople. Although they do have some pretty darn intense fortifications. Don't they have like Theodosian walls? Cathedral... Maybe not. There is an event that tears those down. So I guess maybe the AI didn't take the money to keep them going. That was probably not very clever of them, but... What are you going to do? Oh yeah, we have a personal union threat, but our guy is reasonably young. Hopefully he will uh, get around to making some kids soon enough. If not, I will be most frustrated, because then we will be... Um, yeah, a succession war between Naples and Poland. That's not good. Um, I really would not want to be under Poland, because that would ruin my relations with them whenever I try to break free. I might not even be able to break free. I don't know. It would be bad. I don't really, I don't really know what to do about that. I guess I can get some more marriages. I don't know who I'm to marry. Moldavia does not want to marry me because of some weird mayo and taxes rule. And uh, I don't know. And all of these cunts are republics, so they don't want to marry me anyways. Oh well. Oh yeah, now I remember what we're doing. We're invading Trieste. <laughs> my, my army is totally ready and everything. And I'm just like, oh, I wonder what I should do. Has military access. Yeah, we could always maybe change that before we go to war. Peasant war, yes. Uh, oh, Poland. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind burning down these guys again. That was fun. Last time I did it. Is there any money here? Eh, it's not as much anymore. I guess it hasn't quite recovered yet. That's fine though, I have other things to do. More important things. Ah, really? Bohemia will join. Darn it, I forgot about that. I don't know, I'll do it anyways. I am just feeling it. Florence, you get to join. Congratulations. For you, Lee, do you have any friends? Yes, Trent. And he's guaranteed by Venice, so let's not co-belligerent him. Onwards then. Die, you. Are we, um... Why am I improving relations? Who came up with that? 
guess I must have misclicked. No, we're obviously not going to improve relations. We're going to conquer these fuckers. So we're going to fabricate uh, or, you know, remove the, the things. Ooh, marriage. I wouldn't mind that, but uh, right now I need to... Let's see. No, let... Hmm. If I'm going to be fighting Bohemia, I don't want to mess up my... And, oh, of course they're going to be annoying. Well, leave like the cannons. As far as I understand it, cannons aren't the greatest for um, uh, actual battles at this point in the game. So we can leave those to actually do sieging. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bohemia literally ran over here to hide in some nation I can't go into. That's funny. Hey, okay, so conversion successful. So I actually converted a thing. So uh, Bosna is now Catholic majority. So there's still dualism and um, other things going on here, but yeah, that is cool. We're working on this place as well, so hopefully we'll get some religious unity. Ooh, we can actually get this one as well for relatively or relatively easily. I, yeah, it's the, the yeah. This is why I wanted the Serbs as an accepted culture. It makes converting them a lot easier. Uh, although once again, we'll have to I'll have to reconsider. Um, how much? Actually, you know what? This is actually kind of stupid. I, I, sh I keep saying I shouldn't be converting because you know, the Reformation and whatnot. But I keep converting anyways. So I guess we'll wait for the Reformation to hit. Ooh. Oh God! How you? How do you pronounce that? Uh, is that even Hungarian? So, uh, Xongrad, wherever that is. Where do I have in where do I have cities? I don't really have many cities. I want to know where this is. Actually though, we have some uh, we have a map mode for that, don't we? State edicts. Oh yeah, edicts are a thing now. Are they in this mod? Can I do edicts? Or whatever, however you do that. <laughs> I have no idea how those things work. Uh, here's... Uh, no, this is something entirely different. Well, never mind then. Let's go back to finding estates. There we are. So, Pestis Burger... Uh, that's it. Oh, was it one of the... Um, the non-state states? Because they, they do have uh, estates as well. They just don't show it in a good way. But that's, you know, that's Paradox's fault, not... Um, not the modders, so... Alright, Trist has not fallen, but I assume I can't just peace out yet. Also, who are all these other people who are in the war? Ah, oh, yeah, of course, because uh, Bohemia gets to call his allies in. I always forget about that. I'm like, oh, Bohemia, I can, I can deal with Bohemia. And then I have to remember that he also calls in everyone he... Well, all of his own friends. Also, where are you? Where is the um, the Florentine army? They don't know. They yeah, they have five thousand troops. They should be somewhere, but they're not. Unless they're like stuck in some godforsaken place. I've seen the AI do that before, so it wouldn't be unheard of. Also, I need to. I need a fort right here. I keep having stupid cunts swooping down into these provinces and taking them. Building forts is expensive, I think. I actually don't know. <laughs> so, uh, regardless, let's go burn this guy down. Because why not? Yep, yeah, no, that's what I said. They honestly just can't help themselves. They they have to annoy me. You know what? I, I you know what? Let let's never mind this. Let's go kill Bohemia. Hopefully. Um, Hopefully, uh, Florent and there's the Florentine army. Well, hopefully, they are able to do whatever they need to do. I, in the meantime, will go siege Prague and kill his army. Now then, no more, no more of this bullshit. I'm gonna siege this province again just because I want to burn it to the ground, kill everyone, die, you filth. It's not a lot of money in Prague though, so although there is urban infrastructure and I think can you steal that is that like a thing can I like burn churches down and steal the gold that would be hilarious let's try to do that 
Oh well, see, see this this is this is more like it, you know. I have actual forts down here. And as a result, I can hold my ground. And like up here in the north. I really did not want this to be like a big war. I I I just wanted to take one little city. Come on guys. Why did this have to escalate? Oh yes! Finally we gained some urban industry. Badass. Okay, so linen can upgrade to leather, paper, uh, well, yeah, Middle East carpets, but that's not for us. Cloth can upgrade to luxury cloth or silk. Naval supplies. Okay. But what's like the... What's best? Change urban fluid with 25, whatever that means. Cloth. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, you gain bonuses, don't you? For having different things. But I obviously have no idea what those bonuses are. There needs to be like a, a thing you can, you know, there needs to be like a decision, like an information decision. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to go, I'm going to see if I can Google around a bit, see if I can find any um, any information about the bonuses. Alright, so I was unable to find any info on the bonuses you can get from the various production types, but <clears throat> I think we can just make some guesses, you know, educated guesses. So obviously we need to look at what it what it can eventually be upgraded to. Um, so I like steel, that sounds military in nature, you know. Um, paper, I think, you know, presumably technology, you know, education and shit like that. Uh, silk, I don't know. I don't know metal works. That 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 strikes me as what it, we need. We need any any military bonus we can get. Either that or education or like you know paper. So linen or metal works is where we need or what we need, I guess. I mean, surely there are a better way. No, I. Mm, I think we're gonna go for metal works. The metal works of past, yes. We Hungarians are a fierce, you know, type. You know, the famous, uh, that, that'll be how it's work. You know, the famous Hungarian steel blades piercing through all. And seriously, can you get a move on? And, you know, do something. Anything. Like, go here. Distract these cunts. He's just yeah, he's just memeing around over here. I've given him access, so he does not have an excuse. Hey, stability, nice. We're no longer minus one. Yeah, the the nobles did not like when I revoked the uh, previous uh, or revoked a uh, revoked a privilege previously. They took it pretty hard, so. But that was fine. It uh, boosted my income quite a bit, so it was worth it. Also, I want to see, like, like will the urban infrastructure noticeably go down here? Well, the, the local wealth won't, but let's see if we can, like, actually hurt the, um, the, uh, the urban infrastructure here. Let's see if we can burn some shit down. So it's 900 now, let's see if that changes. I need to change quickly before my Slovenian lands fall. No, it didn't change anything. We didn't burn anything. Did we gain any money at all? Nah, it's not a lot of loot going around. The Bohemians have gotten wrecked so badly so many times now that... Hey, burgers like me. The burgers are not very powerful though. We only have one burger place. Or maybe one of these places is also burger. Yeah, this is burger. There's, <laughs> there's no one living here. <laughs> What a shitty province. How many people actually live here though? Yeah, it's almost, yeah, it's just barely below. It's not very good. Yeah, urban saturation is just, yeah, no. I find it also very hilarious that the rural saturation is actually like, it's way oversaturated. Despite there like literally not being, a, it's not a, not a single pop is actually here. It's pretty funny. Actually, that's interesting. What's the saturation of, uh, of pest? Yeah, okay, so it's not actually fully saturated yet. That's good. That means that it'll, it'll keep growing without me building anything. 
It seems like we really have laid down the foundations for a great city in our capital. Also, can we just not do this anymore? Yes, we can. Give me your money and let's end this. Trieste is now mine. Yay. Now let's start working on this guy. But yeah, now actually what we need to do is we need to... Um, we need to conquer the remnants of Alechia. He's still allied to the Romans. That's super annoying. Because I can't really get down there, can I? And it's going to be quite... Yeah, we're going to need quite a lot of war score to successfully annex Valachia. Uh, ah, okay, so we got an ear. He is... Oh, God. She is awful. Uh, let's get some... Like, just endlessly Hungarian name. Elizabeth. I mean, maybe we shouldn't give it that great of a name. After all, she is a shitty fucking kid. Caitlin. Okay, that's nice. That's, well, there's not a lot of options here. Hedwig. <laughs> Hedwig is. <laughs> Hedwig is a. Uh, isn't that the, a fucking owl from Harry Potter? Well, now we know what. <laughs> we know what she's gonna be called now. I just wanna, yeah, Hedwig. It's literally just spelled like, okay, that's that's funny. That is funny. Mark me down as thoroughly uh, bemused. KOTOR. Right, I think that's one of the places I do, in fact, want to core. Uh, lean snow, and then we have to wait for Trest to do its thing. Yeah, uh, maybe we just want to go immediately against the Valachians. I mean, the Romans can't get to us, and um, nor can the Permians. So, ooh, Muscovy! He is really not being doing that great for this game. But it looks like he has had a serious explosion. So this is going to be very interesting. We might have to wage war upon him soon. Uh, also, yeah, we can see Asia now. I forgot about that. Ming is a thing. I assume this is somewhat event-driven. Uh, but at least I hope that you can play as one of the alternate dynasties. But, yeah, Ming is a thing now. The Joseon dynasty is... Well, yeah, I don't know. Things are very normal in Asia. Except for the glory of the power of Multan. That's not super normal. But it is very rather cool. So, I don't mind that. Yeah, let's uh, let's wipe this guy off the map. It's been a a good habit of mine lately. Wiping unnecessary nations off the map with our glorious uh, Hungarian metal or steel. Well, it's not technically steel yet, but one day, my friends, one day onwards. Then, Ooh, do we want to burn this? Yeah, I think we should. Well, no, I've already looted it, so. If I loot it any further, <laughs> then it's all just gonna die. So maybe we just yeah, we'll let them loot, but we won't, you know, we won't overdo it. Yes, yeah, so this is super exciting. I mean, we are literally, literally just sitting around doing nothing. Um, has no possible. Oh yeah, because I keep forgetting. I already have a claim on these guys. That is obviously why I didn't fabricate on them Jesus but yeah I need to get to perm or the Romans but I it's not possible to get to these guys I, I need to make my way to perm to try and get that war score um, but I need access through Russia to do that well I don't need I could potentially get it through Ryazan or Nizhny Novgorod but yeah, it would be, would be easier to get it through Russia so that's what, or Muscovy I guess they're hostile but I guess since I am fighting one of their enemies um, they are okay with it. So it's gonna be a while, actually. So maybe I should start looking into alternate ways of getting over there. I guess Riazan would be fine. Yeah, I can probably get there right now, actually. Yeah, I can. So I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I guess I just looked at the map and thought that would be easier. Also, we, ha we have famine now, so people are dying. It is very sad. We are just like 
doomed to forever have low population. But that's that's that was that's something we knew when we started this campaign. The innate fertility of Hungary is just not that great. But yeah, we're finally gonna get uh, over here. We are moving. Oh, too many relations. Right. Guess we didn't need the Lithuanian, but let's see if we can sneak our way across these uh, or past these these meme tackler people or the yeah these Sunnis. Don't want to fight them. This is not my issue. Not my fucking problem. Corfu, yeah. Surely they will be annexed soon. They are a Nepalese, not Nepalese. How would you say that? N Naples? An, a vassal of Naples. Let's just leave it at that. But I don't, not entirely sure if I understand this. Like, I remember I automatically got a 100 war score whenever I, when I finished sieging all of his provinces previously, but that's not the case anymore. Maybe you have to wait a certain amount of time? That might be it. Not sure. I guess I just don't entirely know how those mechanics work anymore. Provence, I assume Naples is doing something stupid. Oh, he's doing something very stupid. He's fighting the Ottomans. Whew. That is something, isn't it? Who started this? Okay, so you attacked Akia. Who... Um, how exactly did you get involved in this? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Point is, I need to now decide whether or not I want to join the party. Gonna have to consult the ledgers, but for now we just have to roam around in Siberia a while. Or, not Siberia, strictly speaking, but... Places I really shouldn't need to have to roam through. Is there any wealth here, actually? Sunnis. Syncreticism. No, there's no money in fucking perm. I need to do a perm campaign once though. That would be fucking epic if I could pull it off. We have renewed... Oh, we have? Oh, yeah, our economy is poop. And I had to take a loan because the famine. Well, I didn't have to, but, you know, I chose to. Uh, I should have brought more artillery. Oh, well. Oh, he will actually peace out. Oh, okay, so I was able to separate peace out great perm, and that seems to have done the trick. So let us wipe this guy off the map and take his money because I have debts to pay. And if I... No! Oh, I misclicked. Oh, did not want to take this for myself. Oh, annoying. Oh, well, we can use the clever little province interaction button. I have three loans? How the hell did I pull that one off? Okay, maybe we're not fighting the Ottomans then because I'm in debt. Pretty bad bet at that. I guess I took some loans previously. I don't even know anymore. 